Remember Deadspin, the supposed sports news website that's being sued by the family of that nine-year-old Kansas City Chiefs fan because they literally called the kid a racist and said that he was wearing blackface because he came to the game wearing face paint in the team's colors and wearing a Native American headdress because, well, not only is he a fan of the team, but he himself is partially Native American. Well, there's even better news because a new company has bought the website and fired the entire staff. And I'd be willing to bet that the new owners were able to purchase the website for the bargain price of around $1 because they know that there's an ongoing defamation case against the brand. And that doesn't go away just because it's sold. They are now accepting that liability. And they know that they could easily have to pay out several million dollars in damages in order to settle that case and make it go away. And by the way, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm not speaking in hyperbole. I literally mean that the entire company most likely sold for $1, just like Newsweek magazine sold for $1 back in 2010. Seriously, the entire company, the trademark for the brand, the offices, the infrastructure, everything sold for $1. It used to be owned by the Washington Post. And Newsweek magazine actually used to be very good. It's been around for many, many decades, but they were having a hard time adjusting to the internet age when a lot of people started canceling their print subscriptions for magazines and newspapers. And so the debt started racking up and they sold for $1. U.S. tycoon Sidney Harmon buys Newsweek for a dollar. I told you. This from the New York Times. Newsweek's price tag, $1. But it gets even better because the new owner didn't just acquire it for $1. He also, as part of the deal, actually had to take on up to $10 million in Newsweek's debt, which they were tens of millions of dollars in debt at that time. So he actually bought it for a dollar, but then instantly went $10 million into debt. Deadspin is a perfect example of what happens when a company goes woke because at one time it was a sports news website. But then during the Trump administration, they quickly came down with Trump derangement syndrome and consistently posted anti-Trump editorials, even though those stories had absolutely nothing to do with politics whatsoever. Sometimes sports and politics can intersect occasionally, but of course, these stories did not. So the owner sent them a memo and told them to stick to sports, reminding them that they are a sports website. And instead of getting their act together and realizing the error of their ways, many of the staff members quit and an editor revolted and instead continued to post his anti-Trump editorials. And so he was fired. I know these headlines sound like parodies, but this is actually what happened. This is back in 2019. Deadspin revolts, an editor fired over stick to sports mandate. Imagine working for like a motocross website and then the staff and the editors just start posting about surfing or cooking or anything that has absolutely nothing to do with motocross. And then the owner starts to get a little upset, obviously, and sends a memo and tells them to stick to motorcycles. And then instead of realizing that they sort of drifted off course or that they're a bunch of morons, they get mad and quit or they just refuse and then get fired. It's been a tough few years for the fake news. You may recall that just a few weeks ago, Vice News completely shut down. Once valued at billions of dollars, they just blew through all of their money, including the bailout that George Soros gave them of, I think, $400 million just a few years ago. That money's gone, and so they're shutting down. Last year, BuzzFeed News shut down, sadly separate from BuzzFeed. So BuzzFeed is still operational, but their supposed news division just couldn't hack it, so they're gone. And back in January, a new online news website called The Messenger shut down after less than a year. And you're not going to believe how much money they blew through in just eight months. They were backed by some wealthy guy, and they hired 300 people. And they blew through $50 million in just eight months. Because there's so much competition in the fake news industrial complex. For a newcomer to get in there and compete with the big boys, like CNN and MSNBC and the New York Times and the Washington Post, I mean, that's pretty difficult. And I don't mean to belabor the point that old Joe apologized to that monster who killed Lake and Riley after he accidentally let it slip that he's an illegal 
He did stop himself, though, as you probably noticed, from calling him an illegal alien, because as soon as that word illegal came out of his mouth, he knew that he was going to get into trouble. But we shouldn't just move on from this. We should remind the American people of this periodically, because this could be Joe Biden and the Democrats' Bud Light moment, because it wasn't just a couple people who were upset about it on Twitter, or Nancy Pelosi, and a couple Democrats in Congress. The entire liberal media industrial complex was, and still is, absolutely furious that old Joe referred to the monster using such a negative term. Here's a fantastic compilation that Newsbusters put together showing that it wasn't just a couple isolated instances in the media, people were complaining about it, it was widespread condemnation. The president is walking back a controversial term he used during his State of the Union remarks. Biden used the word, quote, illegal. He used the term illegal. He used the word illegal. He used the word illegal. He used the word illegals to describe people. He did use Criminals. a word that did bother people. Uh, immigration advocates don't want to hear him use the word illegal. Do you regret using the word illegal to describe immigrants last night, sir? I kind of jumped as well when I heard that yeah. word. We normally jumped. don't use that word because people are not illegal. To be clear, no human being is illegal. Congressman Chewy Garcia saying he was extremely disappointed to hear the president use that word illegal. Joaquin Castro has said like this, using that word and illegal uh, dehumanizing is problematic. What did you make well, of that Well, that's moment? probably true. He probably should have used a different word. Like Joe Biden's ad libs in the past, this one kind of got him in some trouble, particularly with Democrats who don't use the word illegal and call undocumented workers. Saying to uh, the broad Democratic base, um, you know, I hear you, I hear your concern, and, and I shouldn't use that word is a smart thing to do. Yesterday, Biden attempted to rectify this by apologizing for using that word to describe an undocumented immigrant. It goes on for another 30 seconds, but you get the point. They are far more furious that old Joe referred to the monster as an illegal. <laughs> Again, didn't even call him an illegal alien. The standard terminology that even the Democrat Party's leadership used to call the criminal invader illegal aliens for decades up until recently than they are about what the monster actually did to Lake and Riley, that college student. And this is the dementia patient that the Democrats and the liberal media industrial complex, the Marxist media, Operation Mockingbirds, are rallying behind. Last, not, not long ago, my buddy John McCain passed away. My predecessor friend, who went, he, that's how he ended his career. Your predecessor, sir? I'm sorry, but Donald Trump was your predecessor and hopefully will be your successor. And by the way, John McCain never won the 2008 presidential election. He never was a president at all. Of course, someone who hopefully will be president again is Donald Trump. And it's never too late to order your wanted for president Donald Trump mugshot shirt or my new Sorry No Vacancy Deport Them All shirt or any of my awesome designs. All available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.